Welcome back to the Red Carpet Reup. If you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button for all the latest updates and exclusive content. Today, we're diving into the latest developments in the case of Tupac's murder suspect, Keith D., who recently made a shocking revelation about his health. Let's get into it. During a court appearance on June 25th, Keith D., whose real name is Dwayne Davis, disclosed that his cancer has returned. Keith blamed the recurrence on the poor quality of food in jail, describing it as processed and unhealthy. Here's what he had to say. I got cancer. I've been in jail eating processed food. I had colon cancer. They serve all this processed food. They don't serve no fruit. It's terrible. Fake potatoes, fake milk, fake everything. It ain't good for an ex-cancer patient. I got it again. This isn't the first time Keith and his legal team have criticized the jail's food and medical care. They've previously argued that he's not receiving his necessary oncologist checkups and that his heart health has also declined due to the diet. That's right. I wanted to go on until I got cancer, and uh, I just called it back. And here, eating y'all processed food. You know, I, I had totally cancer right here. And it's not in the room of this side. All this processed food. Let's break down the key points from Keith D's recent court appearance. Cancer recurrence, revealed that his cancer has returned, blaming the processed food in jail. Lack of medical care, he criticized the inadequate medical attention, stating he was taken to the hospital for emergency surgery, but received delayed follow-ups, denied bail. Keith D was denied bail again, with the judge expressing concerns over the source of the bond money. Keith D's legal team has consistently highlighted the poor conditions and lack of medical care in jail, arguing that it's detrimental to his health. They stated, he is given heavily processed meals full of sodium that barely pass as food. Despite these arguments, the judge remains cautious, particularly about the financial aspects of his bail. To give you a clearer picture, here's an example of the type of food served in many jails. As you can see, these meals lack the nutrition necessary for someone recovering from a serious illness like cancer. In conclusion, Keith D's situation highlights significant issues within the prison system regarding inmate health care and nutrition. As the case unfolds, we'll keep you updated with the latest developments. That's all for today's update. What are your thoughts on Keith D's revelations and the state of prison health care? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more exclusive content from the Red Carpet Reup. Until next time, stay informed and stay safe. Thanks for watching.